previously on Exploring Fighters Battleship Island series. Sake and drinks as an offering. Everything has fallen apart, but he survived here. There's a boat here as well. Oh. I think we're tourists when we sit over there and just might uh, like sculpt this place out like a telescope. That's not what we do. We're here for the action. We're in the trenches. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. All day, every day. Every day. What is up fighters? Welcome back to episode 3, the finale in the Battleship series. So far, if you haven't seen episodes 1 and 2, you need to go check them out, they were absolutely amazing. But we are still adventuring on the island. So far we've been on the island for nearly 4 hours. We've got another 4 hours remaining on the island, which will be split up and put down into this one single episode. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go and explore. will be saying it you can get a tour here but it's not exactly true you can get a boat a sightseeing boat which will bring you here it'll park oh, up yeah. you get to step literally to the side of the island and look at it you're not allowed to walk in at all completely oh, yeah. figured and you can look online so if anyone's saying oh you can get tours there you ain't getting no tours like this Which is very dangerous. Feel that. You can see how dangerous it is. Look at the floors that have fallen through. In the distance, I'm not sure if you can hear. That's the tour ball driving around the island because that's all it can do. Mm-hmm. 
There's poor people paying for a tour just to drive around the island. <laughs> Guys, you should have stayed at home and watched our videos. I mean, this is unbelievable. These were all people's homes. And look, you could walk out of your home and you'd have home, 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 home. Just look across, home, 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 home. It's kind of like jail cells almost. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. It's an old TV sat there. It just keeps going. Really cool. It doesn't stop. This is my favorite one so far. It doesn't stop. It doesn't though. So there's a live camera up that way, so we've got to dart across like that like espionage. Godzilla's tearing through the buildings. Look at this building. Falling down. Let's go and see the jail first. Because we're still after the jail. We have a school to see. A movie theatre. A shrine. And a temple. Well, like Josh did say. When I was jumping across there, it said it looked like a movie scene behind me. And it does. It really looks like some kind of post-apocalyptic alien, zombie, whatever you want to. Uh, natural disaster. This is what would happen, literally. If humankind was wiped off the face of the planet, everything would end up like this. And you don't think it would. Like, I always imagined it wouldn't, because you're doing vandals. But it's not true. Nature can be the worst vandal. Nature can reclaim everything. Right, let's go and see that jail. Oh, it's weird going up. Whoa, watch yourself, Josh. You okay? Perfect. See, one wrong foot and you're gone. You're gone, goner, every man for themselves. Yeah, down here, I mean, it's all part of the game, but you don't know, you just gotta risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Wooden jail cell. It's a wooden jail, bro. That's the first time I've ever seen that. It's a wooden jail cell. It's not even iron or anything metal. That is insane. Look at the old lock on it. Completely corroded. We got a torch out. Look at that. Insane. Huh. And these old hinges just flaking apart. But the, the, the wood itself looks almost new. It looks almost new. Wow. It's 
So this would have been like a bit of a, like the police station almost. But as you can tell, walking across that is dangerous. Josh nearly met his maker. Wow. Maybe uh maybe uh typhoon. No? Yeah. Uh, uh, shuttle. Shuttle. Oh. Movie, movie this was a movie theater. Yeah. Uh, uh, movie theaters. Brick. Uh, material. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Movie theater. This? Yeah. <laughs> We're standing on a movie theater, guys. It's now Rebels. <laughs> how? How did it fall? Yeah. How? Natural. Uh, Natural. Mm, ma, 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 hari, uh, hurricane and uh, wave. Oh, wave. big wave! Oh, oh, oh. Big wave! Oh, wow! wow. Wave came big over wave. the wall. Big wave! Where are they? Wow! Smashes wow! Back, took out that. Tsunami. Yeah, and no, not tsunami. Not tsunami. Big wave. Uh, big wave. Wow! <laughs> big wave. Big wave. Yes. <laughs> Imagine if people were still living here and that happened. That's insane. Hey, hey. Uh, Buddha. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a temple up there. Oh, wow. I've been falling down through that. We were dead. So over here is a shrine. We can't go up there because there's a ship about to come past. So we need to get down and hide. Wow, look at this, people have been bringing sake and drinks as an offering. Look, he survived everything else. Everything has fallen apart, but he survived here. That's amazing. Let's get down. I want to see a massive amount of likes on this. And that's one of the fishermen there who, uh, who was on the boat this morning. 
when we came over, they do not leave that wall. Strict instructions from the captain. Oh, it's okay, it's fishing. There's a boat here as well. That's funny, tourists, they're only allowed in one spot and that's the spot they're only allowed in. I mean, I've got to admit, no one can really do this, what we're doing right now. But it would be pretty fun just to get the boat over, just to stand at that spot. I'd rather have that than nothing. But we don't settle for nothing. We don't settle for the least. We go 100% or nothing. We settle right? for the best. Do you think we're tourists want to sit over there and just my, my, like scope this place out like a telescope? That's not what we do. We're here for the action. We're in the trenches. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. All day, every day. Every day. So we've just spent the last 15, 20 minutes having to relax here because the tourist boat is circling the island. So. Once that's cleared up, we're going to go and look at the landing site where the tourists were. I'm not even going to lie. I brought two bottles of Bacari Sweat, a Red Bull, a bottle of Coke, and a water. Uh, and a bottle of uh, Red Bull. I don't know, kind of Red Bull, I don't know if I said that. So, I'm absolutely exhausted. I brought two bottles of Bacari Sweat, a can of Red Bull, a bottle of Coke, and literally, I've gone through it all already. I've got this left. That. And we we're only here for another three okay. hours, yeah? Is it okay in there? We're only here for another three hours. RIP fires. It's going to be a difficult one. bottom of this bit, you saw this on the last episode, it's amazing, the water, it's not actually raining, it's just dripping from the top, creating this almost like a mist, Oof. 
which obviously is creating all this vegetation. Truly amazing. Big wave. So right now we're heading to the school. We was gonna to go to the landing platform, but literally there's nothing there. That's why the tourists are allowed there. So we're gonna to go to the school instead. See what gems we can find there. Great. More spiders. Lasers outside. Lasers outside. Cannot go in that. Oh, look at the mosaic. Yeah, it's on the other wall. Small red circle. Seven of them here. You seen one? Yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh, no, not if any. Um, um, no, no. Uh, YouTube? Oh. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. put it on YouTube. Okay, perfect. So he just showed us where the lasers is, but we can't put it on YouTube, obviously for certain reasons. So, uh, yeah, but there's seven lasers in that garden square. It's crazy. Hi guys, so right here's the school I thought it was uh, the office, it's the center of office, the line of the number of things came in there, which is the engine units. Look at that old boot. So these would have all been classrooms. Stock room. And another classroom. There's still a bench there. Thank <laughs> you. 
This must be an eating area, I think. There is a orange, orange box. Orange box. Oh, uh, uh. You tell us exactly what that orange box is. Seismic device, all right. Yeah, that's, that's yeah for the yeah that's to detect the um, building. Yeah. Okay, so there is some seismic devices here. I did think that. What is that? What's crazy is the glass is all smashed to pieces, little pieces, and that's probably because when there's been a typhoon, it's been that windy, it smashed it and brought it all over to the side. In fact, most of this isn't even glass, it's the flooring. Flooring and glass mixed up. But you gotta remember this has been battered by so many uh, hurricanes and typhoons, and it's never been defended against. It's just stood like this uh, 40 odd years getting battered with minimal repairs and no upkeep so this is why it's the way it is even the school is starting to look unrecognizable Looks like an old church. Live cameras. Live camera on top of the church. Wow, all that part over there. The island is actually really big. And we're not going to be able to get to that side, I don't think. I don't think we've come from that way. But it's all fallen to bits. Look out tower up there, and there's a falcon hovering above. It's been hovering above the whole time we've been here, looking for its prey. Oh, so I think that over there, one of those islands, is the Crematorium Island. It's where they cremate all the dead from this island. I think that's a uh, counting numeracy. Oh yeah. I think so. This is the only kind of intact room in the entire school. But look at that over there in the corner. Is that a tiny desk with a tiny like metal stool? Oh, bad kids. <laughs> this is the naughty corner. <laughs> yeah. Josh already knows that place uh, way yeah. too well. Back in high school, <laughs> no, not high school. Actually, in ninth grade still, but back in the day. <laughs> I, I straight up really did sat in the corner, like I was sent, I was the naughty kid. Were you? To be honest, yeah. <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone with like a YouTuber, they have a magic in mind, so they kind of get distracted by normal day to day yeah. stuff, so yeah, that's oh, why I was, I was always daydreaming too. Me too. Bro. Like, but I was always distracting other kids because I could see them, they were concentrating, I couldn't. Oh. So I remember distracting them. Oh, and I don't know what's the same way. <laughs> That's why we're working together. Yeah. Honestly, that, honestly, I find myself, I, I become attracted to people similar to me. Yeah, me too. And it's funny because I didn't know your history, but I can tell. Yeah, I can you already can, tell. No, I was messed up. <laughs> I'm still messed up. <laughs> Oh, the 
this um, gymnastics thing there. That was the gymnastics, I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, there's some bits in here. Oh, there's still old work. Look at this. I have no idea what it's for. And I can't seem to see a date. Obviously, it'd be useless me trying to read Japanese. Can't understand kanji. Oh, it looks like they're still writing on the board over here, on the wall. Oh, actually, there's a lot more in here. Oh, look at this. The board's still up. Wow, this is nice. So I'm not even sure what most of this is. But I think with this, I remember something similar. Um, you would put that over it and it would have a light underneath. I mean, I could be completely wrong. Leave a comment below, what is that? I need your help, as always. I mean, we wouldn't be exploring together if you didn't have an input. Is that an old battery of some sort? Like a coil or... I think it's a battery. An old record player. Wow. Oh, what is that? It's like a control station, like a... Radio. This must be how they communicated to the to Japan, maybe. Some kind of radio system. We've got more characters on the wall here. I'll have to ask. Um, I'll have to ask Espinage what they say. Oh, Josh just found this. I was actually looking for a date, 1973, on that paper. The United Nations. Very nice. Look at the metal fire doors. They've just fallen and peeled off. Most of it is on the floor right there. That is insane. Really, really insane. I've said insane a lot, but this is, this island is insane. I can't help it. This is the view from this side of the island. That's another tour ball. Yeah, this is another tour ball. Tour ball, tourists. Those pesky tourists wishing they could get inside here. Unfortunately, they never will. That's why they should just go home, subscribe, explore my fighters, watch the full series. We covered it all for them. Alright, this is the last floor of the school. Apparently, Espinar said there's a beautiful spot here. Oh wow, this is where all the desks are. So many. So many desks. Tables and chairs. That's a completely different boat. tourists have got binoculars. The problem is all them tourists have got binoculars and I was walking through here pointing my camera at them and I could actually see them through the camera and binoculars turning their heads to each other so maybe they saw me. I could created, I could have just recreated a new legend on the island. 
The legend of the ghost hat man. I don't know, but they're either thinking I just saw a ghost or I just saw a very lucky person. But it is quite funny to, to think we could have actually started a legend here. Right, we've gone. Oh, I think this might be the reflection that Espinage was talking about. Ah, uh, that's our captain over there, I think. Alright, uh, we'll just let that tourist boat fade out into the distance. And, uh, I mean, no, I don't think that's the reflection he was on about. But it's super windy here. This is right on the corner of Battleship Island. You can hear the waves crashing against the side. And this is why it's, there's water in here, because the waves are coming up during the, during the typhoon, which was only a couple of days ago. The, the waves was reaching up to the top of here. That's how rough the sea was. Look at that, there were some high waves, you could imagine people, at some point people would have been in school and there's still been typhoons going on around them, maybe the water was reaching up and they were sat in the classrooms and they're like wow and all the water's hitting the side, crazy to think that, but that's why it's called Battleship Island because they built, Mitsubishi built this wall around it and it's almost an idea exact replica of one of uh, a battleship that sunk in the 50s. I'll, I've linked some information about that anyway. Right, well that's the school finished. Nothing else to see in the school. I'm not sure what else is to see on this island now. Let's go and find Espinage and see what he thinks. So we've actually been stood around for half an hour to an hour just taking it in just relaxing we've done most of the stuff on the island there's some parts that if we head too far away we won't make it back in time for the boat but we've just been stood here watching the dragonflies all float around the center of this complex taking it in we've got 20 minutes before the boat gets here so we don't want to miss that boat, otherwise it's 24 hours on Battleship Island. It's been such an amazing thing to do. It's not every day you get to do Battleship. In fact, it's not every year or lifetime you get to do Battleship. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's time to get out of this concrete jungle. Been here for nearly eight. Yeah, been here for nearly eight hours, and already I've had enough. Our last viewing of this magnificent part of Battleship Island. Ugh. One thing I cannot wait to do is to get back to Japan, get back to land and actually get a drink from a vending machine. I can't wait for that. The boat arrives in 10 minutes. We are about 10 minutes away from the boat. We need to make good time.
we're at landing point zero, ready to get picked up, leaving the island. Almost eight hours here. Unbelievable. complete you don't understand the relief I felt when I'm sat on that boat like this and I'm just feeling that water hit me in the face, knowing I'm only moments away from getting a drink back on mainland. But wow, what an adventure this was. I mean, I knew what Battleship Island was, but I'd never really looked too deep into it because I knew one day I would get there. And when I get there, I want it to be a surprise. And yeah, it was a surprise. The history is just unbelievable. So much like sad history, uh, so much torment went on on the island but also I mean it is history so we've got to document it and that's why this island is so sacred and secure they want to preserve this I guess it's maybe a reminder never to go back that way spending eight hours on Battleship Island was a dream and not many people in the world will ever be able to do that especially explorers like myself I mean like I said before there's only four of us four of the elite have filmed on this island so yeah you kind of get how serious this place is and I showed the tourists tourists only allowed on one spot on the island if the weather permits two spots there's two landing spots where they're allowed to stand there and look out at the views maybe once upon a time I have read rumors that they were allowed you were allowed to walk through the streets but are you seen on these videos the whole place is falling apart Balconies are dropping off. Concrete structures are crumbling and falling. You can't have people walking around this island. And that's the way it is now. That's why there's no other videos. But ours. So if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. And please consider sharing the video on Facebook and anywhere else. We work really, really hard in the series. I want to try and get new people in and show them what we're all about. And I can't think of a better video to show them first than Battleship Island. And one last thing, if you want to see the full, uncut, unedited drone footage, head over to my vlog channel, Dan Vlogs All. I'm putting a massive video on there, which is just 20 minutes of non-stop Battleship Island drone footage.